Good morning. Happy Monday. Coach Barb coming at you live from my living room. Excited as always to work out with you on a beautiful Monday day. Uh, hope everybody had a good weekend, had fun, all that good stuff. So um, yeah, briefly I'll talk about the workout uh, in terms of what you will need. Um, a set of dumbbells. I would actually say ideally too if you want to keep the intentionality of this workout um, to where it's, where it's supposed to be. We're going to be doing a more of a strength heavier side of things and then we will do a lighter weight more cardio type of workout. So um, I would, if you have a heavier set, I would use that for the strength portion of the workout. And then if you have a slightly lighter set, use that for um, the cardio portion of the workout. Alternate, I'll show you some alternatives as well, um, depending on what you, what equipment you have. Um, and we're just gonna work with what we have and that's okay. So the workout today is, um, the warm up is gonna be, we're gonna do our five minute warm up. We're gonna do our one minute of cardio and then move into an AMRAP. So as many rounds as possible for four minutes of 10 dumbbell deadlifts, a 30 second plank, and then 30 seconds cardio of choice. So just kind of keep cycling through that. Um, we might, depending on where everybody's at with their dumbbell deadlifts, you might end up on a different cycle than me and that's fine. So um, just kind of keep your own timer or if you're like, well, for my timing purposes, it's just easier to just start when you start with your um, timing, that's fine, whatever, not that big deal. The strength portion of the workout is going to be four sets on a 12 minute clock. So essentially you have um, a set for every three minutes. So you can kind of break up your rest as you decide to do that. Um, just know that you have kind of a, think about it, three minutes is really what you wanna do for your, for your set. Um, it's gonna be three dumbbell hang squat cleans. So we're going full down into that fold up squat. Uh, five renegade rows and seven dumbbell thrusters. Everybody's favorite. Actually, I really love thrusters. Um, and then the workout itself is going to be four sets for max reps. We're gonna do one minute of dumbbell hang squat cleans, one minute of tuck ups, one minute of thrusters, and one minute hollow hold. If you have a barbell, um, you can absolutely use that for this workout as well. Um, yeah, except the uh, renegade rows. But for the strength portion, or the cardio portion, you could totally use it for the squat cleans and the dumbbell thrusters. And then we're gonna do a minute of rest between sets, and um, then we will do that four times through. So um, it's, a good, it's a good chunk of work today, and it's gonna be awesome, and we're gonna sweat, and we're gonna have a great day. And then we will have a finisher, a core finisher, of uh, 30 seconds side plank on each side, and then 30 seconds of Russian twists. Those can be weighted, unweighted, whatever you guys wanna do, it doesn't matter. So lots of options today. Let me um, run through the movements with us today before we get into it so we can all know what we're doing. So let me show you what everything is. So for the, for the warm up, the dumbbell deadlifts, so you'll have a weight, two weights, obviously. Um, weight in each hand outside the legs, so your, your stance is gonna have to be relatively narrow for this. And we're down and we're tapping and we're standing up. So that is the dumbbell deadlift for the warm up. Then the um, dumbbell hang squat clean for both the strength and the full body workout. So we're here. So remember that hang is kind of somewhere between the knee and the um, hip. So I'm down here, up, and stand. Whoop, kind of lost my balance. I'm not warm. Oh, it's hard to demo when you're not warm. So um, you can alternatively, if you have just really heavy weights and you want to just have one, we can be here, okay? So we can do that with one, or if you wanna go from between the legs, I'm not gonna use, my other ones like have long like limbs and so it's not, so you can go here instead. So that's a lot of options. So we can go in the legs, outside of the legs, whatever you wanna do, one leg, two, one weight, two weights, Lots of choices. Okay, so that's the um, hang squat clean. Then we have, what's next? Okay, the renegade rows. These are a bit zesty, let me tell you. Move my other weights. I'll demo with the light ones to make it warm. <laughs> so one rep, we have our push up, then you widen out your feet a little bit, and then we pull, and we pull, okay? That's one. So we're down, all the way down. 
You can go from your knees on this, up, pull, pull, okay? So those are the renegade rows. What else do we have? Oh, thrusters, okay. So front row position, here we are, elbows nice and tall, squat down, press up, okay? All the way down, all the way up, singular motion. It's not a squat, press a plus, press, plus a press, it's one solid fluid movement. So we're not like pausing in the middle. Don't do that, don't pause. All the way down, all the way up. Okay, um, what else is there? All right, tuck ups. So the tuck ups, awesome core work, let me tell you, love these things. So we're all the way down, we're back, and we're tucking up. And we're back, and we're tucking up. And this is a little bit much. Um, you can tuck one leg at a time, okay? If it's a bit more of a balance challenge. So, um, and you don't have to go all the way back if you don't want, if you don't wanna go back here. So you can just go from here. This is good. Whatever you're working with today, or just do regular setups, whatever. Um, the other movement is the hollow hold. So um, the things to really think about to be conscious of in the hollow hold is you really wanna make sure that back is nice and flat against the ground. You don't want to have an arch in your back. That's not a hollow, that's an arch. So, <laughs> the way I like to start them is actually going to tuck yourself into a ball and that really you can tell that your back is pushing in to the ground, right? So, then you slowly release your legs, okay, really keeping, making sure that back is still against the ground. If that's too much, that's okay. I would rather you hold here or here as long as that back is still against the ground, okay? That's really the key to that movement. Just making sure the back's on the ground. Okay, so we're gonna start, let me get a timer set. We're gonna do one minute of cardio. Run around, row, whatever you wanna do. Jump rope, burpees. Who'd wanna do burpees? Um, you know me, I like my um, jumpy jacks. So one minute of cardio, and then we're gonna move into a four minute AMRAP of um, 10 of those dumbbell deadlifts, and then 30 seconds plank, 30 seconds of cardio of choice. You can rotate that up, whatever that's gonna look like today. I'm gonna lower my clock so I can see it when I'm planking. All good things. All right. So yeah, so you will need your weights. That's a nice little five minute clock. All right. So we're gonna go in 10 seconds. And we're gonna do a minute of cardio. Jump rope, you can go outside, whatever. Whatever you can do. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. If you wanna switch halfway, that's also fine. So we're gonna do one minute of cardio, just getting the body moving. And then when that one minute is up, we're gonna pick up our dumbbells and do 10 of, the, or 10 of those dumbbell deadlifts. Or barbell, you have a barbell. That's cool too. We're just getting our bodies nice and warm. 30 more seconds. Just keep moving. 20 seconds, and we'll do 10 of those deadlifts. And well, then we'll move into that 30 second plank. And so on. Five more seconds. All right. Go ahead and pick up those weights. So we're here again, the feet are kind of nice and narrow. 10 of these. Firing up the quads and glutes and all that. Can't wait to lift with a barbell again. All right. Very same plank. On your feet, on your low plank, high plank, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just plank. Now 
like 20 more seconds. No, not quite that long. 10 more seconds. And switch to 30 seconds more of cardio. I'm gonna do some high knees. Get myself warmed up a little bit more. And then when the 30 seconds is up, we'll start back up again with that 10 dumbbell deadlifts. those deadlifts. Whew. Ten of these. Right? Ten, yeah. down to radio plank. Let's go planking. 30 seconds. That way. It worked out. We actually started at a 30 second mark. Makes it a lot easier to track. more seconds of cardio. I'm going to do butt kickers this time. Just keep moving. All right, pick up those weights. We got 30 seconds left. Oh, I lost my timer. Keep going. I hate it when the screen goes dark. But come on now. And time's up. Look at that. water real quick and I'll just review again the strength portion. So four sets, 12 minute running clock. So essentially a set for every three minutes. Three of those dumbbell hang squat cleans, five of the renegade rows, and seven thrusters. Throw three, five, seven. So I will set a 12 minute clock. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> How do I do that? This is a different iPad than I used before. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, three, five, seven. On a 12 minute clock. Or I can knock it off, that's cool too. Sorry, technical Monday difficulties. So, so yeah, so as my plan, you guys can do whatever pace you want, but as my plan to do, to work within that three minute time frame and then rest in whatever um, time I have left in that three minutes, if I have any at all. So we'll just see how this goes. So grab your weights again, if you're gonna go, this is an opportunity to go a little bit heavier. You could even build weight if you have those options within your sets. Um, so it just really depends on what you're, kind of what you're looking for today. I'm gonna go a little heavier. Well, I'm gonna just keep using the weights that I have. <laughs> I like slightly heavy and then like like light. So the joys of the at home workout. So let's go in ten seconds, and we will get moving. Three hang squat cleans, five renegade rows, seven thrusters. Three, two, one. What am I doing? 
So three of these. Five of those thrusters, or renegade rows, all the way down. a minute and a half, which I will gladly take. Ooh. So if that felt good, Go up and wait. If not, that's fine. Take your time if you need to. All right, I think I'm gonna go in like 20 seconds. I know I'm breaking my own. Use the full three minute rule, but I like to get it done, you know? And when you can't like add weight with the barbell, then what are you gonna do? All right. I'm gonna start back over with my hang squat cleans. Three of those. And here we go. What I might do is take a little more time in my set rather than hurrying through it. If you've ever been in my real life class, you've heard me say, Form over speed every time. These hurt my hands. Now when you're doing those, make sure you're not rotating your body. Be really conscious to just pull and not rotate. which is why you wind your feet up a little bit. I got new shorts. I don't love them. It's hard to find ones that stay put. Hey. Right. There's my five rows. Now I got my seven thrusters. the ability, maybe add a little weight, or don't. So you can see why I said, go heavier for this, but again, then you're going to go you're gonna to wanna to go lighter for the um, workout. <sighs> we have two more sets. 
I'm gonna go in like 20 seconds. I swear. <laughs> Off we go. What are we doing? Why can't I remember? My weights are not forgiving. I have like little ridges all over them, kind of like a barbell. It does not feel good. Alright. Woo! Do those thrusters. And then another little breather. And again, if we're not on the same cycle, that's fine. If your weights are heavy and you're needing me to rest, totally fine. Whew. Or if they're really light and you're already done, that's fine too. Wherever we're at. I guess if you're watching this now, after the fact, you can fast forward to be my heavy breathing. <laughs> down at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. like a huge imprint in my hands. Ooh. I'm glad those aren't in the further workout. I have to switch out for sure and protect my hands. All right, thrusters, and then we're done. Ooh, don't break this. Two and a half minutes left. I'm gonna go with some water in my water bottle. Finish up if you need to finish. I'll be right back. Got about a minute left. So 
finish if you're not done. And then we'll get into the uh, other part of the workout. We got one minute left. Minute and a half. So finish up. I think we're probably all done. So I think we're all done, right? Yeah, I think we're all done. Okay. Let me go ahead and stop it. So today, the next portion of the workout. So it's essentially five minutes of work and then you need a break for four rounds. Minute one, those hang squat cleans, you all know how to do those, we just did them. One minute of those tuck ups. Again, lots of ways to modify that, you can just straight up do sit ups, that's fine. Core, just some sort of core. And then um, we've got our thrusters, again, just did those. And then one minute of hollow hold. Now, one minute is a lot of work, so pick a weight that you can kind of maintain a pace um, and be able to keep going. So. If you want to keep this as a real kind of strength um, and then cut your count down essentially, um, you can keep your heavier weight. But really the intention is to go a little bit lighter with this. If you only have one heavy dumbbell, again, do that single. Um, so do the single dumbbell instead. So we're here, if you only have the one, it's kind of hard for me to grip these, but we're here in our squat cleans if you only have the one. And then for the thrusters, we're up here, okay. We'll hold it up here and then we squat and push. So um, make sure you get your face out of the way. <laughs> Just like with a regular thruster. Um, so yes, if you only have one, if you only have heavy weights, that might be um, to keep really the intentionality of the workout and keep your cardio up might be a good option. So um, I have light weights. So I'm gonna try to speed through a little bit more um, <clears throat> and increase my cardio a little bit for this workout. So um, that's how I am choosing to approach it because I have two weights. So. I wish they were like five pounds heavier, but it is what it is. So yeah, so what am I gonna work? Um, I'll have like, I'll call out like a five second, maybe 10 second transition time um, where we're gonna be done. So it's really 55, 50 seconds of work. So hang squat cleans, and then we're dropping our weights, doing those tuck ups, and then moving back up, doing the thrusters and then the hollow hold. So we'll do that um, and then we'll take a minute rest. So, all right, clear some space. So four minutes of work, then we rest. Okay, so let me get a timer work set. So grab your lighter weights if you want those. And we're gonna go in 10 seconds. And I'm gonna kind of angle myself that way so I can see the clock. Three, two, one. And just if you go faster, it doesn't mean you need to lose your form or you should lose your form. Keep that shrug, keep that full squat, all those things, okay? We're only like 20 seconds in. <laughs> And switch, and drop your weights. We're gonna start in seven seconds with those tuck ups. Four, three, two, one. And we're eating these tuck ups. Nice control. Again, going all the way back with your arms is too much. Let's go from here. Okay, whatever's, like I said, sit-ups, whatever's working today. If you're like, that's not working for me, do something different. When we get back up, we're gonna move into those thrusters. And switch. 10 seconds to get ready. Three, 
three, two, one. Okay, men in the thrusters. We can get those squats in today. Sneaky squats. <laughs> Cleans and thrusters. Lots of squats. Good for you. Build that booty. When we switch, we're moving into that hollow hold. When I call it out. And switch. Now you may not find yourself able to hold the hollow for a minute. It's really challenging. So feel free to take like a two second break and then get back in it, okay? All right, into that hollow. We're here, that's fine. Really focusing in on keeping that back flat against the floor. So whatever that looks like for you today, could be here, could be here, could be here. Really make sure you're keeping your shoulders off the ground. That's the key. Shoulders off, back flat. a minute and then we're gonna do it all again. So I'm gonna break. I'm gonna grab a pen real quick so I can track our rounds. It's not something I'm good at. Work. Give you like 10 extra seconds. You're welcome. <laughs> Get back into those squat cleans. Four, three, two, one, and go. I'm gonna start doing thrusters again. I'll take the squat cleans. Don't forget that shrug. Pull under and drop. Keeping that nice full depth. Want your booty down. Woo! All right, let's switch to those tuck ups. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and tuck ups. My hip pop. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Nothing good. Keep going. And up. Back 
to those thrusters. And let's get in it. Back to those thrusters. Make sure you're breathing. Notice that towards the end of my last round, my back was starting to come up a little bit. So again, really to make sure I'm intentional, bringing my knees up a little, to really make sure that back stays nice and flat. Pressed into the ground. I'm keeping my shoulders up, my arms up. Keep holding. I know it's tough. And rest. Woo! All right. Now we need a whole nother minute of rest. Two down. Two to go. You guys are doing great. Glad for these minutes. <clears throat> Definitely not going to start early on these. Alright, 20 seconds. We're back in it for round three. We got this. Back to those squat cleans. Hang squat cleans. Five seconds, three, two, one, all right, let's move. I'm not using my heavier weights. Again, don't forget that shrug and drop under, okay? those tuck ups. Three, two, one, let's go. And let's do a hollow hold for a second there. But that's really how you start, so there's that. Doing great. And 
and rest. Back into those thrusters. Yeah, thrusters. <laughs> All right, let's go. When you're set, really pop those hips up. Propel those weights up. It's an explosive movement. Which I recognize gets to be challenges you get tired. switch a lot. <laughs> That's not the movement it is. Or again, you can be here, or you can be here, or you can be here, wherever you're at today. Really just keeping the back flat. Keep holding. Almost there. round of this, then we'll do our finisher. Oh, I'm thankful for this minute for sure. <laughs> hard work, but you guys are doing it, and you're getting it done, and you're working hard. It's hard to motivate yourself, I know, to the at-home workouts, but I'm proud of you guys for sticking with it. 20 seconds. One more set of each, gang. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Back to those squat cleans. I am already setting my feet, as you've noticed, between each set or pull. But you guys always end up with bruises on my shoulders after doing these. Oh, look at that, we're done. Alright, five seconds. Get those tuck-ups. Three, two, one, and go. If you need, you can tap your feet and rest your feet on the ground for a second. If you're kind of finding that you're losing a bit of balance. Well, that is the upside of working out in your living room. If you lose your balance and then up on your side, no one will notice. That is, unless I do it. And then you'll notice. Oh, 
Back it up. It's in my zone. All right, let's get back to those thrusters. Last round of these guys. Back up a little bit. I always feel weird that like my head gets cut off. <laughs> but I don't find that I can show my head in full extension and show the floor. more reps. There we go. Come down. Three seconds and we're going to hollow. Alright, let's go. We're going to keep that back on the ground. Just up. Holding, doing great. You're shaking, that means it's working. All right, there it is. It was the last hollow hold, thank goodness, right? They're always, that's one of those things that I feel like never really get any easier. All right. So, we're going to quit drink. We're going to do our finisher. So, for our finisher, we have three sets. 30 second applied side plane. Woo! Each side. We'll switch halfway. And then 30 seconds of rest and twists. We're going to do that three times through. So, probably take small break in between. So that's what we're going to do. Actually, I think I'll, I'm going to move my, <laughs> I should do this anyways. Now that we're almost done filming, I'm starting to figure out how to do it. Let me put the clock in front of me so I can see it and actually look at you guys. All right. So essentially one minute and 30 seconds. We're going to start in 10 seconds with that side plank. Two, one, and we're up in that side plank. Nice and tight hold. Ideally, you want your hips stacked over your side, everything in a nice straight line, feet on top of each other. If that is too much of a challenge, put your foot out, one foot out to kind of brace you a little bit. Okay? And switch, roll over, and back up, onto that other side. Really pushing your shoulder, like don't let yourself sag into your shoulder, that's what I'm trying to say. So really engage that shoulder and kind of push into it, or out of it, whatever. Whatever. Just don't let yourself sink. Keep your hip nice and tall, squeezing it up. And switching to those Russian twists. We can be here, we can be here. If you want to wait, that works too. You can hold the weight back and forth. Full range of motion on that twist. Really rotate your body side to side. And rest. I know, I know, thank you. All right, take like a 15 little second break here. One down, two to go. All 
All right, we're going to go in 10 seconds. Back to that side plank. And up. Feel like you can squeeze in that seat side nice and tight, pulling it up. Don't let your hips sag, okay? Up nice and tall. Whew. Keep holding. You're doing great. And switch. And up. Doing great. Keeping that body nice and tight. Not letting yourself droop. Droop. And switch. I'm gonna grab the weight this time. All right. Keep going. And time. Nice job. One more. And then we're done for the day. You guys are killing it. Whew. We're going to go in 10 seconds. And up. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing is kind of critical to, you know, life and all that. If you start to shake, that's okay. Your muscles are tired. Normal. If they weren't, I'd be concerned. And switch. And up. We're last round of this. Doing great. Keep breathing. switch. Grab that weight if you're using your weight. And let's go. This is it after this. And we're done. I'm done. All right. That's it, guys. We're done for the day. Good job. Thanks for joining me on this awesome go workout on this. Ooh, squatting while half your thrusters is hard <laughs> on this uh, great workout. Thanks for having joining me. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be at it again with another great workout. And we'll see you then.